Hey Taurus, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are a returning subscriber or a new one, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. Um, and if you are a new subscriber, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below. We're gonna go ahead and hop into your November energy, okay? See what it is um, that's happening for you guys and what you need to know, Taurus. So, yeah, um, it is giving the energy towards November for you feels very, um, it does feel very fun. It feels very fun. It feels very lighthearted. Um, there could be a lot of dancing or maybe socializing, um, or like you spending time with somebody that just makes you feel good, vice versa, mutual feelings, etc., etc. cetera, et cetera Um, the two songs that I got for you guys, one of the songs, I think it's called Good Loving. And it's City Girls. City Girls and Usher is called Good Lovin'. And then a secondary song I got was uh, like a Say My Name remake by Queen Nyjah and Koi LaRae. Um, and Taurus, like if you are, it's the energy of like if you're looking for a good time, if you're looking for fun, like if you're looking for somebody to spend time with or to like lock something down, it feels like someone is wanting to secure something with you or you might be wanting to secure something with someone else or like you're just really enjoying the vibe of whatever this is, whoever you're spending time with, a lot of your time with um, in the month of November, even if it's like different people, but it does feel very intimate towards like this is the connection between you and someone else. We have Unfinished Symphony here. So for some of you guys, it could be, you know, somebody that you are already familiar with somebody you know that's tied to your past um we also have chop wood or whoever this is that's coming in whatever's coming in it's helping you release the past so some of you guys it's a brand new energy brand new whatever this is going on and it's helping you release like a past situation a past person others of you guys this could be like a renewed energy where it's just like maybe releasing the past letting go of the past history between you and someone else and just it's like the fun is coming back so whether this is new or renewed it's like the spark is coming back the fun is coming back um and somebody is really wanting to know like where this is going or wanting to know if you're in this for real or like wanting to know you're theirs or you want to know they're yours it's something like that going on Taurus. so uh we're gonna brace this energy for you also, we have by the book. So there's something about doing something the right way, okay? Or taking the, the proper steps or proper precautions to like get to some sort of like desired outcome, okay? Abundance or filling here. Um, but yes, you guys, if you have not already, please go ahead and like the video. It definitely helps the content to circulate here on YouTube. Helps the message to get out to other tourists or cross watchers who need to hear it, all right? So don't be selfish. Go ahead and like that. Uh, hit that like button. So let's see. Let's see what November is bringing you, what you need to know, Taurus. Clarity confirmation for my Tauruses. Tauruses. Okay, yin. Balance, harmony, a lot of feminine energy. So maybe you're embracing your feminine side or um, you're spending time with like a feminine, but it feels very like lighthearted, very peaceful, very lovey-dovey, very serene type of energy here. Okay, um i feel like there's something about like your femininity taurus whether you are you know a masculine or feminine watching this we all have both of these energies within us it's something about embracing more so more of your feminine side that's like working for you okay it's doing it for you whatever this is whether it's like expressing yourself pampering yourself something here okay it's working for you in regards to feminine energy tiktok so this card actually tried to pop out before i just dealt the spread um, and obviously it's meant to be. So let's see, TikTok and then no place like home. I'm hearing something about like in the nick of time, something is happening for you, it's resolving for you, or something about you wanting to hold on to like um, a certain type of energy. Or I'm also hearing something about like your youth. So maybe you're just trying to like really hold on to your youth. You're trying to, you know, stay, you're trying to stay um, like something about your appearance. Something about your energy and your appearance. It's like looking young, feeling look young, living young. It's definitely giving like a young, fun, young and wild type of energy showing up here. Um, but something here feels very homey, okay? Very comfortable, very good. And I feel like you want to hold on to it. Somebody else wants to hold on to it. This is a mutual feeling for a lot of you guys, okay? Um, and we have thinker, we have thinker, we have between worlds and we have all that glitters, something or someone definitely had you all up in your headspace, all up in your emotions. It's like 
could this be it or could this be the one or something about um i'm getting moment moment for life by Nicki minaj something about like wanting to hold on to like a feeling or something here um a fantasy a person a situation whatever this is towards it's like you're not wanting to let this go Okay, somebody's not wanting to let you go. Sagittarius energy could be significant as well, or just something about like, you know, the energy of Sagittarius season, which is at the end of November going into December could be significant. Um, but yeah, something is, somebody's trying to hold on to you, somebody, something, whatever this is, so we're showing up. So let's go ahead and put these back and see what the energy Oracle deck has to say for you guys for November. Ooh, so what did I say, Tori? So you have the daughter romance, but you also have anxiety, okay? Thinking woman um, and then indecision. So for Aries, I was uh, hearing what you want wants you. And I feel like um, I'm getting that energy for you too, Taurus. So maybe you have Aries in your chart or maybe you're on the cusp of like Aries, Taurus or somehow that's, you know, Aries is significant for you. But I feel like something that you... Something that you might be worried about, may have been worried or anxious about, like the, the worries are going away here, okay? Or there's some sort of like um, meeting of the minds or something like that that's happening because the door to romance is opening here. So there's a space and opportunity for something very good to happen, something like a good friendship, okay? Whatever this is, a contract, something to be solidified, um, a valuable opportunity could be coming in. Yeah, appreciation. I don't know if this is you pouring this love and appreciation on somebody or they're doing it in regards to you or it's a little bit of both, Taurus. Okay, walking away. There's there's a moment, there's an energy, there's something that you don't want it to be the end of. Like you want to explore more of this, okay? And you want to be secure in that. You want to know that like the feelings are mutual or something like that as well, okay? So let's see. Maybe somebody is like unsure of you or you're unsure of a person or a situation, but the energy is very welcoming and inviting for you, Taurus. Yeah, victory and cornucopia showing up here. So let's see. 30 confirmation. That was the door to spirit that wanted to pop out. All right. So let's see. You could be in for like a good surprise this month, Taurus. Okay. So it came out. Door to spirit. I'm trying to tell you, Taurus, look at this, caring connections and walking away. So maybe something that you thought got away from you, somebody that you thought got away from you, or even if it's not tied to a particular something, someone like the opportunity, the energy, the feeling, something could be making a return or actually showing up for you. Like there's some sort of like saving grace or some sort of like mercy over you and whatever this connection is, whatever this opportunity is, Taurus, that's showing up for you in the month of November. And we have the thinking man. We already have the thinking woman. So it's like you and somebody are on the same page or you and somebody is like, I keep getting what you want once you, okay? There could be air energy that's significant. Maybe you have a lot of air in your chart or somebody else does, or it's something about you and someone else like really maybe thinking about each other or hesitant for the same re reasons. It feels like you're mirroring somebody, Taurus, okay? Whoever this is for you in regards to like wants, desires, what's being said, what's not being said. Um, and maybe it's just, I don't know, like that's the thing. There's a lot of good energy here or potential energy, but it hasn't been spoken on. If that resonates for you, it's definitely coming out in the open. It's being spoken on in the month of November. And there's some sort of union that's coming together, whether this is um, platonic or romantic. Okay. Your crown chakra. Yep. Throat chakra. Somebody is like definitely like pursuing yeah, somebody is strategizing here. There's a plan. Somebody's planning something for you. You're planning something for someone else. Something's being worked out here. Somebody wants to work on something. Somebody wants to build here, Taurus, is really what I'm picking up on, okay? So somebody wants, like, you know, a real connection, a real strong foundation. Um, and you could be walking into that, Taurus, in, in the month of November or at least being introduced to it, something, getting a glimpse of it, something like that showing up here for you. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so you and you and Aries have the best readings so far. Okay, um, the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. 
Like, I feel like something's looking up for you or you're finally getting like a return on some sort of investment. This could be in regards to like money, time, energy, effort, love, appreciation here. Like, it's the energy of it being returned to you. A lot of you guys also, like the way you're bringing this in is you are like heavily focused on yourself, pouring your, you know, like filling your own cup up, um, working on your own shadow work, insecurity, stability. Like you're so, you are, you have been so heavily focused on healing mending nurturing yourself that it's bringing in this energy okay um and it could just be in regards to yourself like you're you're just more so in a, a higher vibration but at the same time i still feel like that's attracting higher vibrations towards you as well towards yeah hermit card with the will of fortune some sort of shadow work you've been doing is turning around for the better um that was virgo also your energy towards Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius could be significant. Okay, so let's see. Four Cups, Clarity Confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Tauruses. All right, or if this is something that you're wanting to bring in, a, a, a special or particular something, you know, or someone, some type of connection towards, like hold on to that. Don't give up on that. All right, yeah, Strength card. Don't give up on that with the Death card, okay? So fight any type of, like, um, you know, doubts that you might have about yourself or something happen happening for you because the energy is here to her. So don't stunt it. Don't block it. Five of Swords. Clarity Confirmation. For my Tauruses, Holy Spirit, for the month of November, what is it that they need to know? Okay, Tower card. Scorpio Energy. The Six of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. All right, let's see, Taurus, what's happening here? The Knight of Cups. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like maybe there is um, something's being addressed here with the Tower card. Maybe there was some sort of secrets or something that just wasn't being spoken on or something here is being addressed or it has been addressed some sort of fears worries of something not working out something like that and i feel like because that is happening or that has happened like it's it's opening up the space for like a good opportunity or love to come in here or somebody's no longer hiding somebody's no longer like um focused on whatever this tower is okay <laughs> it's crazy because the tourist just texts me um as I'm doing this reading, the letter B could be significant. Okay. Um, so yes, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Temperance card, and we have the Six of Cups. Okay. Seven of Swords. Somebody's like no longer holding back or someone's no longer afraid. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's no longer hiding or somebody's just like dealing with whatever needs to be dealt with in order to like invite this energy in. Let's see what the Knight of Cups is. Clarity confirmation for my Tauruses. What's the Knight of Cups, Holy Spirit? Clarity confirmation for my Tauruses. What is it that they need to know? What's this Knight of Cups? All right, so let's see. Spirit can be like guiding some of y'all away from a Scorpio also is what I'm picking up on. I got to say that because that's what I'm getting. Okay, what's the Knight of Cups? Or something about like not focusing on what could go wrong, Taurus, and focusing on everything that could go right. Yeah, temperance card, Sagittarius. Yeah, tempering the devil energy, tempering obsessions, low vibrational thoughts, you know, whatever the devil energy is for you, especially if you have the tendency to like self-sabotage or any toxicity, toxic behaviors you may have, like spirit is wanting you to like temper that, to let go of that, like any type of like grudges, pettiness, anything that could be holding you back from this happiness, Taurus, spirit is wanting you to temper that, to balance that out, get rid of that, mend it, heal it. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. Okay. That's why you're able to like be in this more freeing energy, liberating energy. Um, Capricorn could be significant as well. And we got the Hierophant. Yeah. It's like, if you can like conquer yourself or whatever this devil energy is, Taurus, Whatever this like toxicity, whatever this is for you, obsessions, addictions, overly doing something, whatever has a hold on you, attachments. If you could let that go and get rid of that, you have commitment showing up here, Taurus. And this is you, the higher fan, okay? We have the Queen of Wands at the bottom. We have the Fool card, the Nine of Cups. Somebody is like, somebody is like head over heels here, okay? Somebody is like, there's something that that's being washed out some sort of energy that's being washed out here um that was necessary to be washed out what's the what's the tower card what's the tower card ten of pentacles showing up here okay king of pentacles all right some sort of stability coming in here 
Four of Wands. Okay. Let's see. Clarity confirmation. I'm hearing um who had three strikes? Pisces, I titled their reading three strikes, but I'm hearing three stacks. Keep your heart three stacks. So that song, like something about Andre 3000 could be significant, or that song could be significant. Or I feel like that mentality is the issue or was the issue in like a connection or something like that. For some reason, that's that's relevant for some of you guys, Taurus. Okay. I don't know if he's a Taurus or not. Um, lover's card. Let's see. What's the tower card? Like maybe somebody was super guarded. Okay. With that, keep your heart three stacks or something like that, Taurus is significant. Um, but we have the hermit. We have the six of cups. We have the ace of cups and we have the eight of pentacles. Um, Virgo energy showing up here. Any water sign is showing up here. Um, but somebody is like, I don't know. It's realize somebody's realizing something. Somebody's realizing that they want something. They want someone. Somebody has done some heavy self reflecting here with the um with the hermit card, or there's a need to reflect on past, or somebody is realizing that something is worth saving, or um something is worth holding on to. Whether it's an idea of something or actual physical something in the month of November. Yeah, the sun card, the four of cups. Somebody is realizing maybe they've been holding themselves back or they've been holding on to some sort of baggage or they've been holding on to something or somebody that just does not um, benefit them. And the release of that is opening up like a wide range of possibilities towards, okay, yeah, King of Wands. All right. It's like you're getting your spark back or somebody's very attracted to you or you're attracted to them. Y'all saw how that King of Wands just showed his face and now the Queen of Wands. Something I just told Aries this. OK, something about these King and the King and Queen of Wands has been showing up heavily. Multiple readings, uh, general private readings. It's been showing up. It's the energy of coming together. OK, like something's no longer keeping a desire, something or someone away from you. OK, I keep getting what you want, wants you, who you want, wants you. Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Empress. Or there's some sort of reciprocity here um, that's happening towards some sort, ooh, some sort of leveling up that's happening here. Um, yeah, some somebody got their eyes on you. You got your eyes on somebody. It's something like that happening here. It feels very good, Taurus, okay? Um, and the Sun card again. All right, let's see. Ooh, we. Somebody's being some something about like status here. There's a somebody's status is changing. This could be a relationship. This could be like in in terms of like money or something like that. Okay. Uh what's the Empress? Clarity confirmation. What's the Empress for my Taurus's Holy Spirit? The Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, okay, and the Six of Pentacles. I'm hearing somebody don't play about you and the Emperor fell out. Okay, Taurus. I could just end the reading. I don't know. Like, it's really good energy showing up here. Something about a couple or some sort of alignment with business or some sort of very good partnership here. Like, somebody is very territorial. Like, some, it's like you're getting what you want, okay, what you deserve. You're manifesting it, Taurus. So just keep the hope alive because even if it's not fully playing out in November, I feel like you're on the right track. Queen of Wands, Five of Wands. There's a need to, like, to... um. To not give in to petty energy or to not like any type of competition, anybody that's playing with you, anybody that's not on your level, like none of that, okay? Somebody somebody does not want interference in whatever this union is, okay? Um, so let's see. What's the Ace of Wands? Clarity confirmation from my Taurus is what's the Ace of Wands? It's giving me a lot of like sexual energy too, a lot of flirty energy uh, showing up for you, Taurus, the month of November. What's this Ace of Wands? Clarity Confirmation Spirit. Let's see. We're going to take it because I saw it. The Judgment, okay? Judgment, Nine of Cups and Judgment. Judgment is yours. Victory is yours. Success is yours. Something is yours. Somebody is yours. Something, okay? Or you're making the decision to be happy, to free up your time, space, energy for what is for you to come in towards, okay? This is Scorpio Aquarius energy. And we got the justice with, okay, I am done. I'm done. Something here is solidified here, okay? Something here is balancing out. Some sort of karma is being cleared. Some some sort of debt is being cleared out, karmic debt, something like that. Look at this, the world card. It's, it's a wrap, Taurus. It's a wrap in a good way though, Okay? Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands, like whatever's been, been held up or whoever's been holding back or 
um, something. There's there's a new cycle. There's a new beginning that's happening here. There's a change you, a change energy in some sort of area of your life. And yeah, embrace it, Taurus. So I'm going to leave it here. Be sure to leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. If you're interested in the bonus content on Patreon or a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.